hello in this video I'm going to teach you how to do the closed stitch which the closed stitch is actually a combination of the flat rib and the waffle stitch so how you're going to do this is you're going to follow this diagram first going down and then on your way back you'll follow this one and how this stitch turns out is right here Now the back of it is flat like a stockinette stitch. Okay, get the rest of this out of the way. Alright, so get started. We're going to do this top side first. Which I go for my anchor peg. And you're just going to go like that. Now I'm not going to make this real wide because this is just... A little swatch to show you what it looks like. Now we're gonna push those down. Okay, at this point you're gonna take a scrap piece of yarn, use a collar that will stand out from the collar you're using, and pull that down and just tie a little bow or something, it doesn't really matter. There we go. Now for our way back. We're going to go up and down, and you're going to be skipping one until you get to the other end. Now, not every peg is covered, so this is only half of your cast on. So now you're going to go back and do all that again. There we go. Alright, so if you look at this point, these bottom pegs, some of them have two, some of them have one. So we're going to go ahead and finish. I'm just going to wrap the same. And now some of the top ones have two, some of the top ones have one. At this point, if there's more than one on it, just treat it like one. And you go all the way down. And then you're going to go to the other side. and push this down now this just happens to be a stitch where your end right here is going to be loose so what I do with that is take if it's real loose and put it on that next one up so that you don't end up with these big loops on the end of it all right Dexter I can't see the card Bit crazy looking, but this is your cast on. So at this point, that's all you do. I'll do another row with you. We're gonna go down. And we're gonna go back. Take the bottoms over the tops. it all down and you can see after that first one this end is fine now so there you go at this point you just keep repeating that until your project gets 
to the length that you want and then I'll show you how to do a cast off for Before it. Before I get into showing you how to do the cast off, I want to show you another alternative um, way that you can do this stitch. You do your first way down, put your string on just like I told you. And you do your second part. Now this one, instead of doubling up your strands, you'll do each row individual. This will give you a completely different appearance. And through the whole thing, you will always be just taking one over one. Instead of, you know, sometimes it'll be one over two, two over two. So then you just go and you do your next row. course you'd be back on this row the every other one the second part you can see there's a definite difference in the thickness this one is super super thick and this one's a lot thinner but on the loom it appears that they look about the same but let's get these off and see what they look like so how I'm gonna do the cast off which is this is cast off I use for most rake stitches you take the one side even if it has two peg two loops on it still move it over to the other side did we miss a loop oh no we didn't And now you'll take the bottom over the top, whether it's one or two, two loops, whatever it is. All right, so there's that one. And we'll do the same with this one over here. Take the one side and move it over, but this one will be a little easier to move since all the pegs will only have one loop instead of every other one having two. Now that it's like this, at this point you can pick whatever cast off you want to use. Um, I'm going to do the super stretchy just because that's one that I'm very partial to. But you want to take your, if you're using a super stretchy, you want to take your working yarn and wrap it three times around the pegs that you're using just so you have enough yarn. And you'll take the yarn up. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. You, you will skip your last peg. Take the yarn up from the next one. Then you're going to go back one and go down. You'll skip one. Take your yarn up. Go back one and down. Skip one. Take your yarn up. Go back one and down. You're going to repeat this till you get to the last Start peg. The loom. This is what you got. This is the first one I did. You can see how much thicker that is. And you've got kind of like your ridges in there. Here's the second one. It's a lot thinner. 
this one would actually be good I think for like coasters because it is so dense and so thick I've already finished this edge up on the cast on edge up on this one which I'll show you how to do that in a moment oh here it is this was the cast on and this was the cast off so that's that one now here's this one here's the cast off and the cast on the how we finish these up you're going to need a crochet hook you're going to start at the opposite end of your starting yarn and you're just going to take the last you're going to follow this orange string you're going to see loops on top of it going over it that's all you're using you're just going to take the first two take the second one through the first pick up the next Take it through the first, pick up the next, take it through the first. You do this all the way down, which it'll just take a moment to do, so I'll just do it along with you. I could do this faster if I had the right size crochet hook. You can see this is a smaller one. This is a very easy way to get your cast on edge to have just a really nice finished look because a lot of the rake stitches that cast on edge will be loopy or just really misshapen. Once you're at your last one, you can take and pull the orange string out. Then you just take your starting yarn, pull that through. And grab all of it there we go and it's done that's already locked in place and this is what you have it's, it's just a crochet cast off it doesn't completely match it's crochet uh, finished edge it doesn't completely match your cast off but it's very very similar to it okay there we go I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments uh, about this stitch, just please leave them in the description area below. Not just, sorry, in the comment section below. I will say if you want to make a blanket out of this stitch, I would do the second one where you just go one row at a time, take the bottom over the top instead of doing both and then taking them over just because it makes it so thick. And for your cast off, for blanket the super stretchy cast off would be very irritating because you'd have all that extra yarn that you're pulling through each time. I would suggest using more of a crocheted cast off, which there are separate video links for the crocheted cast off. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and again, any questions or comments leave in the comment section below.